think the big question that I consider when I'm preparing to write is what is the main idea I'm trying to get across to my reader? And the reader is always the person I try to keep foremost in my mind when I'm doing my pre-writing and my writing. So the first question is just really, what is the story here? What's the central message of what I'm trying to tell people? Um, and how that relates to my research question. Um, and then how can I use the data that I have and the information I found to, to tell that story um, and answer some of those questions? And I've usually found that if you start that way, you get a cohesive message. So nobody that I know of really likes sitting down with like a hefty engineering paper and just uh, slogging through it from the start to finish. Um, so for me, a really nice way to make that approachable is that I read the abstract and if I'm unfamiliar with the topic, look at the introduction. Um, but then I just jump right to their figures and their tables and the kind of the things that they've put that extra little bit of effort into because that's really the important core of their work and their message. I'm worried that I'm not like knowledgeable enough about the field that I'm writing in. That's often like a big obstacle for me. So one of the biggest questions I ask whenever I read anything is how does this specific piece fit into the bigger field? so that I can almost survey the field a little bit. I highlight and I also put comments on the margins all the time, or I just put comments directly in the middle of the paper with ideas that I think could be useful. I think this specific sentence, for instance, can fit into my paper. One of the best things that I can recommend and something that everyone should do is to read a lot of the primary literature before you start writing. Um, so that will give you an idea of what the current field uh, what the current research in your field looks like and what people are excited about and what people are writing about and also what style they're writing in, um, what kind of language they're using and what kind of traps and cliches and pitfalls to avoid. Um, it'll also help you give some structure and some context for your own paper and why it's relevant to the field. And then I really like to use um, a technique of doing a short summary um, underneath each challenging part of the paper so that I know I'm rewriting it in my own words. And I've taken that concept and tried to understand it um, and just summarize it for myself so I can go back to it later and know what the heck it's talking about. 